the renewable energy company proposing a 2,000 acre solar farm south of CUNA in town talking to community members. I'm your neighborhood reporter Ali Tripke here in Melba and I spoke with Powers Butte Energy Center representatives, Idaho Power, and with community members on what they thought. This is a very special area of the state, you know, Melba's seed capital. Jim and Joyce Birch are some of the many residents that would see the panels from their homes. Dozens of neighbors gathering in Melba Tuesday evening to learn more about the proposed solar farm that would stretch across more than 2,000 acres, asking questions and voicing their concerns. Pros, I'm not sure yet. I got I got to get a lot more information. It'd be nice to see cheaper values on our power bills out here. One of the biggest concerns from locals during the meeting, air quality in the valley should a large battery start to burn, similar to the energy station that caught fire in Melba months ago. We had a fire here not long ago, mm -hmm. so there is that hazard. There's not enough studies to really show. Idaho Power says they're in need of more power sources and are currently in contract negotiations with the Powers View Energy Center, owned by Savion, who proposed a solar farm. They've gone through all the development exercises to site their facilities, and then ultimately the result will be a power purchase or other contract with Idaho Power, but we don't actually influence the locationality of where those facilities are ultimately sited. Another concern many neighbors shared with me is how the solar farm could take away from Idaho's rural farming roots. When people come into Melba, they're coming down south side, and that's what they're going to see. They're going to see all the solar panels. And so there's a place for these solar projects, but it's not on desert land that has irrigation rights. It's an overreach, you know, and they're taking away productive farm ground. Mitchell Taylor with Savion telling me their team held this meeting in an effort to share their goals with the community. With the project spanning portions of Ada and Kenyon County, the next step will be county hearings, with the first being held May 8th for Ada County. What are you hoping for? To uh, shut it down, period. During the meeting, energy representatives said that construction for the solar farm could start as early as next year, with operations beginning in 2026. In Melba, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Ali Tripke, for Idaho News 6.